Well, I'll put this down as a rather very good trading session today because you bought the Nifty at any point of time, you would be making money. We have moved to the high point of the day. Volumes as well, pretty decent. More than 20,000 crores is what we have done in terms of cash market volumes. Total volumes as well at around 400,000. So uh, we're moving higher on good volumes. The breadth of the market as well is good. We're up at close to 100%. So let's get uh, you know the volume figure up for you. Let's get the advanced decline number as well up for you. Things looking good actually as we speak. It's a good day for the bulls. But the final 60 minutes will really tell you whether or not this has been a good or in fact it turns out to be a mediocre day. Currently holding above 10,000 mark. We like that for sure. But uh, let's get to our next query. We have uh, Malvika who writes to us from Mumbai. She holds 300 shares of Canada Bank at around 374. Long term investor wants to know whether or not to hold or to sell. Prakash coming across to you first. Uh, Canada Bank uh, sitting on a loss of around 12,000 rupees. Long term investor. Stay invested or uh, get out? No, no, stay invested. You'll make money. If you want to add, add more, maybe exit around 360, 370 zones. Might marginal prop loss, nothing. So continue holding it. Okay, and uh, Gorang, would you have the same view? Well, Ekta, in fact, we have a reduced recommendation on Can Bank, and uh, I don't think the plight of certain mid-size or small-size PSU banks is going to improve anytime sooner. I'm talking about earnings visibility and of course the big concern from the gross and net NPN provisioning front. Uh, would prefer something like an access bank amongst the private sector players or if he wants to be in uh, public sector then the State Bank of India would be a preferred stock. Okay, all right. Uh, so if you want to play the PSU banking theme then uh, SBI would be uh, the stock that, in fact, uh, Gaurang uh, takes a look at. But just pull up this, uh, the you know, the PSU banking index. It's, uh, the index, in fact, has corrected by close to around what? Close to around 10-12% uh, just in the last one and a half months. So you pull up the last 45 days or two month chart of the PSU banking index. We're down close to around half a percent on otherwise very, very good uh, trading session. And if you pull up a wider time horizon as well, that's a three month chart. But if you take a look at it from those highs that we saw in August, from there, it's corrected more than 10%. We were roughly at around 3,700. Currently, we're on the verge of, brace, of breaching that 3,200 odd mark. So it's not been very good for the PSU banking index. But uh, our next caller is with us. Ajay calls us uh, from Kolkata. He has a query. He has investments in Hinox Wind. Hi, Ajay. Yes, sir. Ajay, how can we help you? I believe uh, you're sitting on a bit of a loss. Loss of the, yes, sir. Correct. Uh, so you have a long term horizon in terms of holding these stocks of Inox Wind? I am holding till now. Okay, and you want to hold it for longer term as well, right? Ajay? Okay, I think uh, he's a long term investor. He is holding these stocks. Unfortunately, it hasn't worked out. So let's find out what he should do. Gaurang, coming across to you. Uh, 216 is his buy price. The stock is sub 130 levels. Um, what does he do from here? Well, the first thing he should have done is take remedial steps. He bought it at 216 and the stock is trading at 126. So your capital has got wiped out uh, almost half. Uh, and this entire, you know, conventional wind power, etc. Uh, uh, Nigel, the entire sector uh, does not look promising. And if you have just looked upon the last couple of quarters numbers from Inox Wind, I think it's a huge disaster. And that's why that's reflecting in the stock price as well. It's seen a one-way drop. Uh, at these levels or pullback, if you want to make an alternative switch, I would say look at uh, automotive components, OEM segment, Mahindra CIE in Automotive. Uh, there's a recent uh, coverage that we've initiated on this particular stock with a target of somewhere close to about 345 or so thereabouts. But important to take remedial steps at appropriate time and not to damage your capital like this. Okay, all right, we need to take a break now, but more on stocks once we're back. Stay tuned. We're going very steady for the markets. Uh, like you can see, it's a lot about the financial space today. The Nifty Bank has surged. We have Indusind, which is at a record high. And uh, let's see, even the Nifty may be inching closer towards 80, uh, 10,100 as we speak. But uh, let's get in another query now. We have Govind, uh, who writes to us from Kolkata, holds 500 shares of Bharat Financial Inclusion at 959 since the past six months. He's a medium-term investor, wants to know whether uh, to hold or sell that particular stock. So interesting one there. What would you recommend, um, Gaurang?
So, Ikta, we've been positive on the stock and, uh, of course, uh, the stock has been in the news for all the good reasons since morning. And we've seen Indusin Bank also uh, virtually at a lifetime high. Uh, what we know is that, yes, uh, as per the verbatim given by the management of Indusin Bank, that it's going to be uh, both uh, positive for Bharat uh, Financials as well as uh, Indusin Bank. Growth will uh, definitely transform into numbers quite visibly at a higher level. Uh, we need to know a little bit more detail of the deal contours, uh, but we believe that it's going to be incrementally positive for both Indusin Bank shareholders as well as Bharat Financials. So you need to keep your eyes and ears open with the news flow, but uh, even if on the standalone basis, if you look at the numbers of Bharat Financials, we've been extremely positive. So from a long-term point of view, continue to hold on. And the stock is in news for all the good reasons. Okay, stock in the news from, uh, for all the good news reasons. But technically, uh, Prakash, Bharat Fin, what do you think at around 970? Well, it's trading at an all-time high. When mm. we say that whenever a stock trades at a new high, it's, it's a buy. So I think continue holding it. Just if you want to have a stop, have a stop at 940 and chase it. Who knows? We'll see 1,000 now. Maybe tomorrow, maybe day after. Who knows? Okay, all right. Uh, so both technically and fundamentally, the call is to go ahead and hold on to Bharat Finn. But uh, Prakash, if you had a stop loss, where do you place it? 900 deep? 940. 940. Okay, 940, that's an important marker then. Well, Jyoti writes to us from Ahmedabad. Uh, he holds 2,000 shares of HCL Infosystems at around 38 since the last six months. Short-term investor wants to know whether or not to hold or to sell. Um, Short-term investor, Prakash? Well, short-term investor just have a stop below 46 zones and continue holding it. This stock has a capacity to go to around 60 zones. So I would hold it. Okay. Okay. All right, Prakash and Gaurang, thanks very much uh, for joining in this afternoon, taking us through all of those queries. That's all the time that we have on the show. Do remember to keep sending us all of your stock questions. Closing bell coming up now.